is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis for both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. Yeah, I'm going to have to start marking my videos or else they're going to take me off of here. Or they could sue me for like $40,000, you know, if I if I can't prove that um, I'm worthy of being here on YouTube. <laughs> I saw, I've seen some really crazy shit that's going on, guys, about what's going on with YouTube and, you know, the new rules and all regulations and all that. So that's why I've been suggesting you guys scooch on over to BitChute and Black Junction TV. Um, I need to put the link for Black Junction TV. Um, I'm going to start, I got to start um, seriously transferring vid more videos or all of my videos, I meant to say, over to either one. BitChute's been a hard time figuring out how to transfer uh, videos from YouTube to um, BitChute, but Black Junction TV is no problem. So um, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing, just taking all my videos and bringing them over to Black Junction TV. And um, if something happens, then, then you know where to go. So I'm going to leave that link in the description below. I don't, I'm not trying to scare you guys, but that's what's happening. We have to, we as uh, YouTube creators have to be babysitters. You know, if someone's not watching their kid and their kid's watching one of my videos, here on the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, even on my Dark Moon Doll channel, there's certain topics that I don't think kids should be watching. So yes, my, my channel is for adults. It's not for kids. So um, why do I have to mark that? Why is it all changing? Because some big bullshit thing happened that I haven't gotten into talking about uh, involving YouTube and things like that. And I I don't feel like we have to you know suffer and pay for you know this as creators here on YouTube I should be able to express myself and say what I need to say and I'm not doing anything vulgar at all I'm smoking a joint I'm a medical cannabis patient and I'm talking about what it's like being a medical cannabis patient in the area that I live in which is California so it's just ridiculous I guess today's gonna be a rant because <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't done a video in a bit, in a little bit, and i just been wanting to take some time out, plus I have some sort of a cold thing that I'm not sure of. So let's smoke, let's have a little smoke. Um, I rolled a joint last night with some sugar shake, um, yeah, let's make it a casual smoke session. Um, I'm really proud of something that I did, I'll show you in a bit, uh, yesterday, it was just, I worked on it all day, it was crazy, so we'll show you. I like to share things with you guys on this channel, as you guys know who have been watching for quite a while. But if you haven't, um, cannabis and creativity go hand in hand and so many other things. So check out all the videos that I have on this channel. Cannabis and creativity, cannabis and spirituality, uh, the list goes on. Um, even in the wake and bakes you may find something, some insight or have some sort of moment where of clarity. And that's what I try to bring forth, the knowledge that comes through when I partake of this herb. So cheers, everyone, and thanks for joining me. I just had to tell you guys all that in the beginning because I, I don't want you to get so comfortable here at YouTube that you just and all of a sudden next thing you know I'm gone so copy down those links so if you if you one day come here and this channel isn't here then you'll know <laughs> you'll know that what I was saying is true that um, they can take you off of here in an instant um, they terminated my channel for three months straight at one point if you that was it two years ago or a year ago about yeah so anyway, yeah, they took me off for three months and then brought my channel back, which makes no sense, really, because there was people that were smoking on their channel and they didn't get their channel terminated. There's that Swami Select guy 
who uh, was kicking it on there didn't wasn't affected at all. So I guess I just see him as something a little bit more pristine and more of an authority on cannabis than me. I mean, if I had a turban on my head, I had a you know twirly mustache and a long beard, then I would be respected more. <laughs> and I would be taken serious more. But I'm a fucking patient. I'm someone who's actually partaking in cannabis on a daily basis for conditions, PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, all the stuff that I mentioned in the beginning of these intros that I do on my videos. And I did that because some people just mistake this for being a party channel. It's not. Listen to the beginning of the intro of this video and you'll know. Why should I have to put 18, I mean, for adults or whatever, on my, on my channel when I've been saying this in the intro for so long? I don't understand it. If a kid's sitting here and they're, and they're watching me say, Hello, my name is Trim, a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for yada da da. What kid's gonna be watching this? Kids aren't gonna why I wanna watch this on average. They wanna watch something that's exciting, you know, something, you know, thrilling, cartoony, or whatever. This is none of the above. So this is obvious that it's for adult, adults. So why do I have to mark it? So anyway, exactly. <laughs> oh, this is mighty fine. Mm. Whew. I just think that people that are cannabis smokers are just going to, like, la di die and go, okay, you know, I could do that. I could put the, the whatever it is they want on the videos. But here's the thing. When I go to load my videos, it's off of my phone. It's not on, off of a laptop. And I notice the laptop setup is different than the cell phone setup as far as that goes, as far as editing and what you could put on your video and all that. Um... I can't really do that on my phone that I can see. I'm sure if someone knows, then they can tell me. But as far as marking it as for adults only or 18 and older, I don't see anything that I can click or whatever when I'm uploading my video off of my phone. Because if you guys don't know, I don't have a regular camera. I haven't had a regular camera in years because I, I broke mine. And the one that I had was a used one that was given to me. Um, it wasn't brand new, but anyway, yeah, it's, I've had a regular old camera for so many, t for so many years. And, um, when I had a regular camera, I was able to load it up onto the laptop. So, but yeah, it's just, it's just ridiculous, um, uh, all this stuff. It was at one point where I felt like a few days ago, cause I was feeling a little, uh, stressed out and just done with it all with social media and all that stuff, I was just like, I should just get rid of all of this. <laughs> just fucking forget about it. But I know that a lot of people that come to this channel really enjoy watching the videos on here. So i sticking around for you guys, but I want you guys to come over with me to BitChute and to Black Junction TV and maybe spend less time on YouTube because YouTube... If you look at the, the videos that are popular here on YouTube, that's where it's going. You know, that's exactly where it's going. There's celebrity. There was a video on here. There's a video here on YouTube. You remember those actresses, Tia and Tamara? I think it was Tia. Anyway, it was the two twins, twin sisters who are mixed, half black, half white. Anyway, they were popular back um in the heyday of Disney Channel and all that stuff where they're making the Twitches movies where they're twin witches or whatever. But anyway, one of the actresses, I think it was Tia, she's on some sort of um, little show on YouTube where they're bagging uh, vloggers on YouTube. Just regular old people. These are celebrities dogging out regular old people that make videos on YouTube. What kind of bullshit is this? Are these celebrities that hard up for attention? They're that uh, irrelevant now in Hollywood that they have to get glum onto YouTube and become popular again. That's what it seems like is happening with YouTube is a lot of these celebrities 
are popping up here with their own YouTube channel. Will Smythe has one. Um, Terry Crews. Who else? Mike Tyson. Um, many other celebrities are jumping up. Uh, Polly Shore. All these people, all these celebrities, it seems like their careers are failed and now they're trying to resurrect their careers by getting a YouTube channel. And what ends up happening with all these celebrities getting a YouTube channel is that the regular YouTubers like me um, get like one, they want them to leave because I don't have a flashy intro. You know, I have a big song and dance and shit. And I cuss sometimes in my videos. And so does, uh, <laughs> so does all these other people probably. You know, cussing their videos. Um, Mike Tyson, definitely. And I'm not judging him because I cuss too. But why should it be more acceptable that he cusses in his videos on YouTube than me? Because he's a celebrity. So celebrities can get away with a lot more. They're trying to make... They are making YouTube into, ca into commercial television. That's what's happening. I mean, that was an indication. It was a clear indication of that when they started putting commercials on there. There, there's one day in this life on this planet <laughs> there was a time when there weren't commercials on YouTube it's just people making their videos and sharing whatever they wanted to share and that was it but now it's just all fucking crazy everybody's got to have this like five minute intro of you doing all these different poses or whatever yeah, and it's funny which videos are blowing up on YouTube, really. What time is it on here? Oh, it's only 11 minutes. Seems like I was going longer. But anyway, let me take another tuck. And I guess I had to get more off my chest about that because I thought I was going to end that <laughs> and move on. But it's just ridiculous how, um, how much things have changed as far as YouTube goes and what's on there, what you can see and what you can't see. You know, um... I was watching, I had watched this video, this woman, this is a white woman, really pale, fair skin, she had really long hair, really beautiful long hair, and she did a video about rice water and how she applies the rice, rice water onto her hair. I just was kind of wanting to have every perspective of how people do this treatment, rice water treatment, not just people with my hair type, but other people. So I watched her video and it was really good, and then I commented on it. And then when I tried to search her and find her, I couldn't find her. In the search, when you when you go type in rice water, you know, just every it was mainly black African American women to show up. And it seems like YouTube is trying to fall into that whole trend where if you don't notice it or not, I don't know, you notice it or you don't. But all of a sudden, people are starting to feel more appreciative towards black women. And they're propping up and praising black women. And especially black women with this type of hair. So it's kind of ridiculous now in this day and age is that we're, um, we're falling for these tricks. <laughs> we're falling for uh, this social media bullshit. So it's just crazy what becomes popular and then... What was popular last year can be totally not popular this year, as far as all this bullshit goes. And I'm not interested in a popularity contest. So that's why I'm scooting all of my stuff over to somewhere else, okay? And getting the fuck off of here, because it's crazy. I don't, it's, to some point, I don't even really want to watch a lot of the stuff that's on here, on YouTube anymore. Some of the stuff is just kind of like, yeah, I already know that. I should just sit down and read a book about it. or, You know what I'm saying? Some of it is just a waste of time for me to watch. Um, because YouTube's turning into a wasteland, kind of. I mean, not kind of. It is turning into a wasteland. <laughs> okay, this is the YouTube rant. <laughs> I better not title that, because this video might be taken off in a heartbeat. All my videos all at once before I get a chance to transfer them. <laughs> Oh, God, this is good. So I'm making up for lost time. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for being so supportive of this channel. 
I'm not saying I'm going to take it off the air right this moment, but you never know what's going to happen with this kind of venue, with YouTube. Um, you really don't anymore. It used to be you knew, but you don't, so... Alright, I'm going to cut this part of the show, just ranting about YouTube, and let's move on. <laughs> There's only so much I can talk about that. If you have any input, you can put it in the description below. <coughs> I mean, not in the description, in the comment section below. And um, tell me how it's affected you as a YouTube creator, maybe. So, But let's carry on. Because I don't really want to attract YouTube to this video and that's why a lot of times I don't label my videos specifically all the time exactly with all the stuff that I'm talking about because some of the stuff they don't need to know you know some of the stuff they already know they're trying to change it and they're trying to put it in the favor of celebrities instead of regular old people like us like you and me just people who are medicating with cannabis and find it very medicinal I feel like what's the problem with talking about it and sharing what we learn? Oh, this is good. So anyways, thanks for joining me today. I'm just going to make this short. I guess it was a YouTube rant. <laughs> um, I really appreciate you guys coming by and putting your input in and what's going on with in your world. And experiencing cannabis the way that you do through your perspective with whatever is going on in your world. You know, it's important for everybody to share their story if they feel comfortable doing so. Oh, so on to something else, on to another topic. Um, if you didn't see my thrift store uh, video, Please check it out. I had fun. Um, I was in a really dismal and depressed mood and I decided to go to the thrift store because I needed to find some pants and um, something to make a um, something to put on my head at night to wrap my hair up. <clears throat> so I, if you saw the video, thanks for watching. <laughs> I think it was a two-parter because I showed when I went up there and back or something and then another video where I showed what, you, what I got. So. So, some of what I got, I know it's all ripped up now because I, I made something out of it, was I got some of this satin, a bunch of satin, uh, purple satin fabric at the thrift store because I wanted to make myself a sleeping cap and a cap that I could wear during the day, maybe not so much out and about, but during the day when I'm doing, um, basically when I'm doing so many things, like when I'm making art, I don't like my hair dangling in my face all the time. So what I did was I made this this cap, a uh, satin cap, and let me show you what it looks like on, I'll put it on, it's like a smurf hat, <laughs> but I could, I could actually wear it as a regular uh, hat, but basically this is why I made it, because look, it fits all of my dreads inside of there, inside of one cap, sleeve cap, and look at that, Ta I sewed it by hand, and basically, um, I like um, I can't show you completely but anyway I folded the fabric together kind of doubled up doubled up the fabric and then basically what I did was I, I drew like a mushroom shape not the full mushroom but you know the top of the mushroom shape that's pretty much what this hat is constructed of that kind of shape see let me show you see what I mean it's that kind of shape so um, yeah you've it's pretty easy, but it takes time. It may it take me took me all day yesterday because I was this is the first time I made something like this, and also because I was sewing it by hand. But look at how, and you could put this on your head if you don't want to like worry about it at all. You know, it's like bam, bibbity bam. <laughs> it's like a bonnet, but not. <laughs> But it would probably be more bonnety if I had, like, uh, elastic. That's what I was wanting to have, elastic. Um, but I don't have elastic, so I just I got kind of creative with it. 
Mine's kind of baggy up top right here, but that's okay. You could always take it in if you made it too big. You could always take it in on the sides. As it is, I had to take it in on the sides because uh, it was kind of it was kind of baggy even then. See, I took it in on the side right here. So, but yeah, um, I might even take it in a little bit more. But I kind of like the fact of it being loose. That way, when I get more hair, <laughs> not get more hair, when my hair grows longer, then uh, it'll just fill up this this cap. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I just was working on it while I was just watching. What was I watching? God, what did I watch yesterday? I tried to watch Harry Potter's Prisoner of Azkaban, but... Um, that didn't work out. It was too many scratches on the seat on the DVD, unfortunately. So, oh well. But yeah, I was just kind of watching stuff and um, and just working on it. Had some reggae music playing. There's this thing on here. That's the thing about uh, YouTube. I want to. I want to be like. I get to this point where I totally want to abandon it and be done with it. But then there's all these music stations on there that I like. <laughs> like the 24-hour reggae station is pretty, it's it's bumping. I like it a lot. It's not the cheesy reggae either, commercial reggae. It's actually that, that uh, good stuff. So kind of like the medit, like the meditations, All the great stuff. Burning Spear, Steel Pulse, all kinds of good stuff on that. So that's what I like. This 24 hour reggae has been nice. My husband found that and he told me about it. He turned me on to it, so I like it. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on with the time on this video. Yeah, it's pretty all that's going on. Um, I'm going to make it in part two. So stay tuned for part two. <laughs> and thanks for joining me. Brothers, blessings to y'all, and I'll see you soon. Catch out, catch out, catch out, <laughs> check out part two. <laughs> check out my links in the description below.